the Lord sent me out here this afternoon to draw your attention to the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, Jesus Christ. What's your name again? I'm Tom. Tom Breedlove, the Indianapolis skateboard journalist. Okay. Tom yes. who? Breedlove, the Indianapolis I'm skateboard Karen journalist. McBrady. Like Evil Knievel. Yeah, I'm the silver lady. I'm pretty hungry. Bob's going back down now. I didn't do anything wrong. I've never lost my cannon stand in Annapolis. Doing a love story on Jesus. Fundraise year round. You took a picture of me, but you won't give me a dollar. The drummer. He's pretty good. And the Lord sent me out here to get your attention because many of us are living comfortably in our sins without God in the world. Uh, you were out here, I got it, it's about two years ago. I'd have to go back and look at YouTube Probably, uh, yeah. to see exactly when. But how's it been going the last couple of years? You're I've still been... out here doing your thing. I have not seen you since then. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I don't come out here uh, usually except for when there's um, some type of event. Sometimes on Saturdays, I just had a, uh, a baby, a three-month-old, and, um, you know, so... Uh, I got just to, now? Uh, well... Recently, three months ago? Yeah, three months ago. Okay. Yeah, so well, congratulations. Months How long have you been down here? Um, a week. I've never seen you down here before. Well, I hope everything goes good. The last person that told me they were getting engaged was Bridget, the knitter woman down there on the circle. You know, the woman who knits? Oh, well... Didn't work out. Big sits Indian style on the circle. Yeah. You know what? What? Love is in the air. It's fall. It's like a homecoming season, right? That's when everybody starts falling in love again, I think. Not the spring. It's the fall. I don't know. But the Lord wants you to be saved. And the only one you're going to be saved is if you know Jesus Christ. I still come out here and there, and, and you know, especially like when there's something big going on, events and stuff. Do you, are, are you out here then? or I'm out here just kind of whenever I can find time. I've got a five-year-old, oh, so okay. I work down here. So, oh, okay. uh, you know, I started coming out here about three years ago after I uh, was feeling a little bit better from a bout with cancer. Oh, wow. So I was pretty much torn up and feet were all messed up, skateboarding kind of put me back together again, and that's why I come out here and do this. We get married on Valentine's Day. On what? On Valentine's Day next year. February? 14th. 14th, all right. It's on a Friday. 2020. It's on a Friday. I got married in 2013 wow. on March 30 at 3.30 wow. in the afternoon. It's all about priority people. What? Your priority in life. Is Jesus your priority? I interview people. I don't try to make people look bad. I was a religious studies major at IU. Mm -hmm. I am curious about all the different religious people that I see yeah. down here. Uh, around this area or over on the circle or a lot of times yeah. down there at the Arts Garden. Yeah, I'm just out here today. I was actually doing some recording over there because I make uh, different YouTube videos as well. This present world will perish. The Bible tells us in 2 Peter 3.10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Is that your friend I see filming you running around over here? No. There was a guy that was videoing. I don't have anyone with me um, today. Shall be heard up. And then it goes on to say, See they that all these things shall be dissolved. Well, that's weird. There was a guy, and I've even got him here on my video that oh, I yeah? took, and he's okay. sneaking around, hiding around corners and stuff. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. So. This world is filled with demons and angels from heaven that are born over your soul. And the devil's favorite line is that 
He doesn't exist. A final urgent message to a world that is soon to go up and smoke. Don't you want your sin? Spiritually naked. Anything weird been going on down here? Yeah. She's been here, we met her, uh, what, what name is that? Um, is it last week? It's a man running around the street naked. The guy running around the streets naked? Yeah. yeah naked. Who? Naked. On KD? Who knows? It's a black guy. He came from that way. I missed that one. And we got, it, was a, it was at nighttime. And what day was that? Just last Most week? Friday. Okay. On a busy night. Yeah. The last I talked to you, you were here maybe a little bit later in the year around this time, and you told me you were heading over to uh, Broad Ripple around Halloween. Did oh, you yeah. ever make it there? Uh, we said it was about two years ago. I probably did. I think I did, yeah. Yeah, we, we um, it, it wasn't a, a big thing, though. Um, no. I learned that, that the weekend before Halloween is the best time to do any type of, uh, to, to catch a crowd, I'll say. How much do you get paid? For this? Nothing. Zero zilch. I mean, nothing. Wow. The produce factory right there. Mm-hmm. Right back the back to where he is. And he's just running around naked. Yeah. The police took him in, put a blanket on him or something. You don't want a blanket. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't. Okay. So yeah, just trying to draw call people's attention to to get closer to, to, to God. Uh, because you know that's really what's most important when it comes down to it. There's a serious crisis, or when you know you have a close encounter with death, and all of a sudden you start to realize what matters. Yeah, and, I keep telling people not <laughs> really, to not to get to that point. You know, it's it's uh, it's family and God. You know, when it comes down to. It. Are you guys gonna have kids? Well, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. All right, I'm done. No more for me. I had one, and I'm that's it. At least I think so. Uh, you never know what God has in store, right? Is that well, good luck with your child. Is it a little boy or girl? Girl. Girl. Third girl. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I got a boy. <laughs> I got 13-year-old, 9-year-old, and now 3-month-old. Now 3-month-old. Man. We gap there. Oh, geez. Well, you're going to be awful busy the next several yeah. years. Yeah. What the, are you from another place, another city? Or are you from Indy? I'm from originally from uh, Owensboro, Kentucky. Okay. Did so you you notice a little bit of a southern accent? Well, I saw all the luggage there, and I thought maybe well, you just came into town. That's the one. That's what. Majority that's your stuff. of it's his. A lot of us are just you know we're just so absorbed in in life and in the world, in the world, and you know material things that we don't make much time for the Lord. I never seen you with so much stuff, Robert. You're like uh, becoming a pack rat. We're gonna have to have an intervention. <laughs> I don't really feel like anything good comes from tearing people down. Yeah. And you know, part of why I go out and make these videos is because I I've been down in the city for a long time, and I really love Indianapolis. And I see the problems that the city has, and I see the the problem that people have with each other these days. And yeah. I, we really have a whole lot more that we should be united on instead of you know tearing each other down yeah. all the time because of our various differences or who we voted for or whatever it is you know yeah. and I from what I get on the street is that we're not nearly as divided as the media would have you believe every day I don't see those divisions as deep with the average person yeah. you know of course you can take some people that work on the political end of things and put them on television and let them go crazy every day and everybody yeah. gets the illusion that things are terrible and yeah. things certainly aren't perfect i'm not yeah. trying to say that but i think you know what i'm yeah where yeah, i'm I mean, coming it definitely from. blows things up you know out of proportion a lot of times and you know there's 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 reasons behind all that when did you guys get engaged uh when did we engage last week last week last... is that a ring on the finger Whoa. It's, it's a big ring. I watch the news occasionally, but um, you know, I try to just stay focused on, on, on my mission, which is you know, to spread the gospel of Christ. So, 
Well, just like this is your calling, I feel in a weird way this is my calling, uh -huh. just to come out and talk to people and let them be heard uh, without editing them to make them look crazy or bad or yeah. whatever, just letting them have their say. I think if you took a look at the video that I put up of you before, you would say, he was pretty fair, he let me say my stuff that I was saying, and yeah. he wasn't mocking me, and uh, just showing people what is going on. I hope I'm invited to the wedding. Unless you're eloping. Hello, yeah. Vegas. I hear it's pretty nice. Now, where would you like to elope to, Robert? We might go to the courthouse. Oh, this courthouse over here? Oh, man, city county. Really, at the time that I met you, I was at a time of crisis because I told you I was sick. But at the time, my wife yeah. had stage four colon cancer. Oh, wow. She went through six surgeries. We both. It was just a crazy story. We got together, our lives were perfect. She told me she was pregnant the week after I was diagnosed. Yeah. I spent two years coming back from that, and then we find out, hey, she had this cancer the whole time I was sick, and yeah. even when she gave birth to our son. Yeah. So we're both better now. Yeah. Uh, we're still not completely healed, if you know what I mean, yeah. but we're working on it, and yeah. we're just taking it a day at a time and trying to find the blessings where we can, which for me is just being here because even though we went through all that, at the same time of going through that, we saw a lot of people die from similar ailments. Yeah. So, you know, I feel God has something for us, and if it's just coming out here on the street and trying to talk to people and uh, soften some hearts up, so be it. Are these people okay over here? They're not even moving. Just checking. Just going around checking stuff out. That, oh, yeah. There is a warfare behind the scenes. Good. Every gun, many of us can't see it. We ignore it, we think it's not happening, but it is. It's starting in heaven. The Bible says, there was a war in heaven. I'm going to get out of here. I wasn't even going to come out and film anybody, but when you start telling me the right. nice news, I thought I got a video of this just in case I want to document it later. So. I think something happened on the front. Yeah, I think so. Joyce Myers, she's a uh, minister. Joyce Myers is still around? Yeah. She's going to fill this place up with evangelicals. which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Well, I'm a Christian, so... Do you get any kind of harassment from people down here for doing your thing? Besides you guys like me? Um, there, there, there might be a few people that might say some, some nasty things, but... I'll, I'll, I'll say it'll be a balance. Like there'll be people that are supportive, really encouraged, and supportive, and then there'll, there'll be uh, your, your other crowd uh, be <coughs> upset and let you know that you know, those, those specifically, you know, make an effort to let you know that that uh, they're, they're angry that you're here and that, that, that no one's paying attention to you or whatever. But I, I know that that's not to be the case. You know, there, there are definitely people that, that are hearing and could, could be receiving. You know, you just never know. There's lots of different kinds of Christianity. Yep. People generally aren't uh, too fond of, of street, street preaching uh, American, you know, American. If I was, I believe I was in another country, like, you know, in Africa, one of these African, you know, poor countries, um, they, they would probably uh, have a crowd, you know, people wanting to hear what you got to say, but in America, it's just not very popular. Well, you were very cordial when I talked to you, and I remembered that. Yeah. There are some people that come out, and they don't even want to have a conversation, not a real conversation. They just kind of want to beat you over the head yeah. with their beliefs yeah. to the point that I don't even want to talk to them, you know? Yeah. Uh, there's a couple guys out here with the Hebrew Israelites oh, yeah. that are out there telling us that all the white people are going to be their slaves. and. I appreciate you talking to me again, and I'm glad I ran into you. Yeah. It was by divine providence. That's right, man. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Man, it's kind of cool. You, you go on the board and doing the uh, uh, little thing. I, I actually used to skate myself. I think the last time I saw you, I was still on a longboard. Mr. Nika. Mr. Nika. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I think I did the
God's bringing people to you, man. Yeah. Taking care of your needs. Amen. Amen. It's supposed to rain tonight. Feels like it could, doesn't it? I know it's supposed to cool down. It smells like it could rain. Look at the clouds right there. Yeah. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Well, thanks for the interview, Hey, take man. care, Nate. All right, take care. I'll see you around, buddy. Right, take care. Take care, guys. You too. I'll see you. All right,